friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought it would be fun for us to sit down and look at the items or souvenirs that I brought back with me from Austria and Germany. I tried really hard to be practical in my purchases and pick things that I would really get use out of or things that I felt like would be good additions to bring back. So let's go ahead and talk about those things. The first few things I have aren't really like fun or like cool souvenirs, so we'll just get those out of the way first. And the first thing I bought was the uh, Farfalla, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, hair styling gel. So if you guys haven't seen in a previous video, I essentially lost the ability to use my hair straightener when I was abroad. The converter that I brought with me didn't have enough stamina to power my hair straightener, which I did not realize was going to happen. Amazon review, gonna happen real soon so I can help other people avoid the same fate. But even though I could have borrowed someone else's converter, it felt like just extra steps, it was unnecessary. So I decided to just pick up some hair gel at the first chance I could. And so I essentially found like what I think is basically a equivalent to an Ulta, maybe, I'm not 100% certain. I just happened to stumble upon it when we were in Salzburg and picked this up. Um, it had enough English on it that I was able to decipher that this was a hair gel and I did use a good chunk of it while I was on the trip. This stuff is nice. I actually really enjoy the packaging of it. Most hair gel products that I've come across here in the States are like squeeze bottles and I don't love those as much. This is a much sleeker packaging. I don't remember how much this cost. It didn't really matter. I was going to buy it and I was just desperate to find something that was hair gel. It was actually a really interesting experience going in a store and for whatever reason I had totally forgotten that I had Google Translate available on my phone but I really like went into it blind trying to find something and this is what I eventually found. I also so. have this Essence You Better Work Volume and Curl Mascara. I, as you guys also maybe have seen, ran out of mascara when I was abroad and have to have mascara. So when I was in that same store they had Essence and I really wanted to find something a bit more out of the box that like maybe because I do know from watching like other UK based beauty YouTubers that there are drugstore cosmetics that come out like L'Oreal will put out products that we don't get in the States so I would have preferred to find something like that but I was getting a little overwhelmed by being in the store and the pressure of trying to find what I needed to get so I would never tried an essence mascara so I grabbed this one it was on like one of the newer displays this is okay. This really is more of like a your lashes but like a touch better. It just really makes them look light and fluffy which I prefer more of like a in your face I have long lashes with mascara on kind of look. So this was fine. I'll use it up completely but I would have preferred getting something more enjoyable for my mascara purchase. And the last thing that I have is just one thing I brought back from the hotel and it's this shower gel. It's the Commerce Equatable Made with Fair Trade Cane Sugar. It's from Novotel, which was a really like posh hotel that we were in. And oh, it smells good. It's one of the few places we went to where they had actual like little containers. Pretty much every other hotel had like this generic wall attachment where you could squeeze out. It was like an all-in-one hair, face, body type of wash. I was a little nervous I was going to run out of my Bath and Body Works body wash so I figured I could at least grab this. Fortunately I didn't need to use this. I didn't run out but I did bring it home. Alright now let's talk about more of the uh, souvenir-esque type items that I purchased. The first thing I got was in Salzburg and it was this gingerbread. I did not know, I guess I should have known but I didn't realize that Germany was known for their gingerbread and the gentleman at the booth that he was selling these had little samples and it was delicious. So I have the different types that they were selling. We have like the frosted with almond, we have the chocolate covered, we have the regular and then we have again a chocolate covered and a frosted. I was really looking forward to bringing these back. I had to force myself not to eat them during the trip. So now it'll be like a nice fun treat that I can have periodically. The other two items that I picked up were Christmas ornaments. Something that Ben and I in particular like to do during trips is to get different Christmas ornaments. And so when we were in Vienna, I came across this really like kind of hokey but kind of cute uh, little church. It was the, I believe the St. Thomas, maybe it was St. Peter. 
We saw a lot of churches, forgive me, but this was a beautiful church that we went to and it's covered in glitter and then there's a Santa sitting on top of it with the name Vienna on it. I thought it was really cute and just like a fun little ornament that I could keep with me. It was the first day of the trip so I was a little conservative on what I was buying. I wanted to make sure I could bring everything home and this little guy survived the trip. The other thing I wanted was a Christmas ornament from Germany. I didn't come across like a super touristy type of ornament, but I did find these handmade wooden ornaments in like a German Christmas shop. And I thought it was really cute. I like the tree on it. I like the little hut. Um, I also bought Ben's mom one of them. These are relatively inexpensive compared to like how detailed and pretty they are. So I was happy. I believe each one of these ended up being like about $10 if I converted that correctly. So I didn't feel too shabby about this and they were both packaged well enough that I was able to get them home unscathed. The last thing I got I'm actually really excited about and it is a Pandora charm. I totally forgot this when I was going abroad until I finally saw a Pandora store in Salzburg. Whenever my mother has gone on different trips, like for example when I went to go visit the Vatican, there are country or tourist spot specific Pandora charms that you can only get when you're in those locations. Um, I feel like that's not well advertised or at least like I didn't know a lot about it and I consider myself knowledgeable in the Pandora or a world but like I have a beautiful Vatican charm whatever whatever so when I saw the Pandora store I immediately thought like oh man I wonder if they have any like Germany type of charms so I went in and the woman showed me that there were three there was like the Berlin gate which was very large I didn't want a charm that big I feel like Pandora charms are getting a little bit out of control with the size of them but different tangent, different day. Then there was like a basic charm that had like a chisel out of Germany with a heart. And I was like, eh, I don't really like that one. Then there also was like a coin, a dangly coin that said like Germany on it. And I was like, ah, that also feels very generic. And then she said to me, she was like, we also have one other charm that they don't consider like an official Germany charm. She was like, but it looks like a lot of the churches that we have around here. She's like, and we only really carry it around this area. And I was like, I'm intrigued, tell me more. So this is what it looks like. It does look like, like she had said, like a lot of the churches. In fact, there was a church right outside the Pandora store that looked just like this. And so I was like, yep, that's it. I think it's beautiful. I really enjoy it. And that will be my official Germany charm, even though it doesn't say Germany specifically on it. I ended up getting one for me and one for my mom because again, my mom normally gets them for me. I thought it would be a nice touch. They also weren't too expensive. They ended up being about $50, which if you guys know the world of Pandora these days, that's relatively inexpensive for their charms. So I was pleased to find that. And I've officially added it to my charm bracelet. I know some of you guys have asked me to do an update on my charms. Now that I'm done cleaning them and rearranging them, I will definitely be filming in the near future a what's on my Pandora bracelets because I do have three of them. But but this is what I'm gonna give to my mom. I can't wait to go home to Maine so that I can surprise her with it. So that's it. Those are the things that I picked up while I was in Germany. I did buy gifts for other people, but I didn't wanna bring them on here. I just wanted to show you guys the things that I exclusively picked up for myself and a little bit kind of for bed, I guess, if you consider the ornaments like a group present. But that is it for me. I will talk to you guys in my next video real soon. Bye.